All right, here we are in a beautiful Casa Grande, Arizona day, just south of Phoenix, looking at a very nice 1948 Ford convertible. Very nicely done car, sporting some really beautiful factory style trim. Uh, we're going to walk around and tell you about it like we usually do. It's resting on a complete and thorough body off restoration that's about 20 years old. It is fully documented in a binder that we'll cover in the trunk here for you. Uh, it has a Motor City flathead under, B8 underneath the hood with a 286 cubic inch, uh, 3 and 3 eighths bore, 4 inch Merc crank, a lot of offy stuff. It is a documented Motor City flathead V8. Engine S174. Anyway, the full spec sheet of the engine is covered at Spud's Garage. Uh, we'll actually have a copy of that. So uh, the car has about 11,000 miles on it. It's a beautiful car. It's the kind of car you can drive. It has a manual three-speed factory style. Upgraded rear end differential ratio in it, 354. Body is whistle straight and professional style restoration. Again, the car has about 11,000 miles on it. So it's been driven and it's got good, good age and character. It's not, uh, it's been loved and kept in a garage and it's been part of two prominent collections over the years. So we know the history of this car very well. Uh, but anyway, it's the kind of car you can drive. We'll walk around and we'll cover a lot more we can tell you. It has a factory cal vent there. It has upgraded uh, two speed wipers on it has an upgraded audio system in it that's hidden in the glove box but very straight the trim's all been repolished and it's beautiful uh, body of the floor pans on the car just the same color as the top of the car the frames finished in a matte black like it would have been from the factory factory VIN car so nice little hopped up flathead V8 underneath the hood of it rather other than that it's pretty much darn near stock it's a beautiful car it's obviously lowered a little bit they were a little bit taller when they were uh, younger so to speak split windshield so the body's not been modified at all uh, good like I said good character and patina there are very minor flaws in it um, it it actually is the kind of car you can drive it's not uh, overdone or something you got to be super super crazy protective about but it's definitely a sweet ride um, we could like I said pick it for a couple little minor things but I call that character white walls the owner went through and made sure all the brakes were good the car runs and drives fine runs about 180 185 here down in Arizona weather nice little trim mirrors here so it's not brand new it's not perfect but it is very nice the fit, the doors and all that kind of stuff, the gaps and seams are extremely nice. Uh, we'll get inside here and kind of share with you what we see in there. Cars like this are fun because they carry a lot of the original character. Um, and they're not so stuffy and overdone that you really can't drive them. This kind of car, again, 11,000 miles, has seat belts front and back, rubber mat floor in the front. It has a uh, factory style interior. It's a it, it's a leather looking. I don't know whether it's leather or not, but let's call it either or. It has a pinstripe cloth, uh, kind of a mohair style upholstery to it, so a factory style and feel. Three speed manual on the four factory style gearbox. Again, body off restoration. Make sure you hang on to the end of the video where we'll spend some more time on the undercarriage of the car and cover it and body color floor pans, so on and so forth. Has a, uh, I did it still tilt steering column. We'll actually spend some time on the driver's side too. In the glove box here, it's got a Clarion audio system in it. And also this is the uh, Motor City Flathead uh, S74 engine number, spec sheet included. Has uh, two speed uh, wipers on it, the working heater. Um, Clarion audio system with CD. The Wonder Bar radio supposedly has been rebuilt and that's in the file, uh, the documents of that. Uh, but I believe that it's been unpowered for respect to the current radio that's in it. Again, heater down here, factory pedals, so on and so forth. Nice maple wood uh, garnish moldings on the windshield, on the dash, you know, on the door trim. Uh, the woodwork on the, uh, the top here, you can see that bow looks new or it was just really nice. The top's been restored, so on and so forth. The top itself was originally a power top. Um, the owner disconnected the cylinders on it because one of them was uh, uh, locked up. So those are included. They're underneath the seat. They're an easy fix. It operates great as a manual top. We'll actually put the top down for you in another portion of the video. Again, seat belts in the back seat. 
Um, door jam to door jam, just a really nice little car. Definitely no excuses for it. As we walked around it here taking photos, everybody stopped and said, oh my gosh, what a beautiful car, and it is a pretty car. So if you've been looking for a nice solid convertible that's had a professional restoration on it, fix the seat belt here. Door shuts nice, gaps and seams are nice. Again, you can see my reflections in the side of the body there. Trunk fit is nice. Look at the top here. So somebody spent a lot of time on this car. Again, it's documented paperwork wise. Uh, the restoration and the spec sheet for the powertrain. We'll spend some time under the hood here in just a moment. Kind of give you a feel like we always do, kind of a full walk around. Right here in the bright sun, so you really get a good feel for the car. Virtually no settling on the paint. The paint's beautiful for a single stage and been on there about 20 years. Anyway, we get over here to the driver's side and open up the door for you. Again, the gaps and seams on this are very nice. In the Maplewood uh, faux finish on the dash and all the garnish moldings here. Your back seat from this side, again the top, we'll uh, show you the top bows. The top is very nice, you can see all the hardware is nice. In the dash here they've installed uh, Stuart Warner gauges which is pretty typical 46, 48. What they'll do is they'll uh, install Stuart Warner gauges, they fit behind here. So all the gauges work. Emergency brake works like it's supposed to, brakes work like they're supposed to. Hood release, we've been in and out a couple times, works great. Flathead's really healthy, nice little cam in it. Again, we'll get underneath the hood here for you. All right, let's take a look underneath the hood like we promised and we always do. Really neat Motor City flathead. I wanted to show you there's a spec sheet here for the Motor City flathead. And this uh, Motor City flathead engine number, S174, is also on the receipt here. Uh, basically, you're looking at a Motor City Flathead V8. It's a uh, 3 and 3 8 bore with a 4 inch Merc crank, a professionally built engine. It's a lot of money to build one of these engines like this. Uh, kind of goes over, it's got a camshaft M MCF full race. This car's got a nice sound, you probably heard it run already or we're going to fire it up for you. It has fully adjustable valve train with uh, super flow valves, uh, stainless steel valves, ex intake and exhaust. It has a full flow oil filter kit in it. Uh, Offenhauser 2 deuce intake manifold with dual 94's. The owner's had it tuned up and it's running good. Very nice though. Um, you'll notice over here is the uh, top convertible motor on it. Uh, we walked around, we talked about the top being manual. It's manual because he's disabled the cylinders because one had frozen. So if you rebuilt the cylinders you could convert the top back to power. And we'll show you here it has uh, Smitty mufflers on it so it's got a good flathead sound. It has a uh, a uh, distributor in it here, electron, a Petronics distributor in it right down there. Has an aluminum radiator with electric cooling fan. He says uh, down here in Arizona it runs about 180, that's about it. It runs good, cool, no issues. See the aluminum radiator, little moon eyes badge there. But the receipt with the Motor City flathead comes with it. Uh, obviously it's been upgraded up to 12 volts, so there's a 12 volt alternator there. Offenhauser uh, Aluminum cylinder heads that are polished. Again, the uh, off the intake, polished aluminum. You'll see it has the headers on it down here. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea. Definitely go to spudsgarage.com where we have plenty of still photos and most certainly hang on to the end of the video. Have a great day. All right, I wanted to do a short little video clip here and show you that all the glass in this car is Ford Scripps. So I don't know if it was original glass or NOS glass, but I found it pretty interesting that uh, Ford safety glass right there on that one. But every we've rolled up the windows and all the glass in this car is uh, Ford Scripps. Talk to you soon. Hang on to the end of the video. All right, we'll share the trunk here with you, but at the same time we're going to cover the file that's included with it. Uh, 
There's a full restoration file. There's a full motor, a motor, motor city flathead rest receipt. A lot of receipts and documents here. Owner's manuals, so on and so forth. Uh, a lot of tedious details when it comes to putting things together. Inner fenders and washers and uh, dust shields and so on and so forth. So very well put together car. Uh, the guy studied it well that put it together. But this whole file or paperwork file is included with the car. And uh, hang on here, we're going to do a little bit more. I'll show you the trunk. It has a uh, downsized spare that takes up less trunk room. Uh, you could probably mount it differently with a factory type mount if you wanted. Floor pans are nice on it, very nice. Rock solid card, has the cardboard stuff in the trunk here that's factory stuff. Anyway, that books and files are included in the back side of the deck lid here. Go to spudsgarage.com where we definitely have more. All right, let's take a look at the undercarriage like we always do. Walk around with the camera here and cover it. This is resting on a body off restoration that we talked about. About a 20 year old restoration, the whole file's here. Factory style, it has I believe 350 gears in it or something like that, so it's definitely very drivable. Uh, body off restoration where the floor pans are the same color as the top of the car. Um, so it, it's a very nicely done car and again about 11,000 miles, nut and bolt, bushings, everything was done on this car during its restoration. Has a coker style or diamondback style white wall tires with the chrome strim, uh, Ford deluxe wheel caps on it so to speak. But the rear end's been upgraded with a correct ratio. We'll kind of give you a peek here. You can see the floor pans there are beautiful. Anyway, this is a nice body off restoration. See all the mounts and stuff. It was assembled by a school teacher, an auto shop school teacher from what I know, but uh, there's a full file with it that's included with the car. And we probably have covered that already in the trunk area. So we're just kind of repeating myself sometimes like I do. I always like to make sure we cover everything. All factory style suspension and braking. The owners had the brakes checked. They stopped fine. It's great. No issues. See the bottom of the aluminum radiator there. Factory brakes, suspension. Just sits right. Nice little, uh, it's not really a resto rod. It's a uh, pretty much a stock beautiful car with an upgraded flathead in it. Motor City flathead. See a professional style body off restoration. Anyway, we're getting towards the end of the video. If you got any questions, give Brian a, a call at Spud's Garage. I'm never any pressure. There's some MIDI mufflers right there. It has headers on it. We showed you that already. Anyway, go to spudsgarage.com. If you're looking for a solid convertible like this, give us a call. Have a great day.